Between two Germans. Welcome to a brand new series. This is Hazel speaking. Next to me is Thomas. Hello, hello. And you might hear that we sound a little bit different than usually. It's not German, it's Between Two Germans. And it's a new mini-series. We are starting off with a very special guest today. We have the German and British ambassador of humor <laughs> here well, in our studio of, of in Cologne. the internet. <laughs> <laughs> The, the British ambassador of German TikTok. Yes. I like that. It's, it's <laughs> Is that a title? <laughs> that's my new official title. Yeah. Is that that's where, you, where you see yourself? Yeah. Um, what do you think about the new jingle? I will play it to you. It's it's uh, quite advanced. So I want, you to, I want you to expect a lot from it. <laughs> <laughs> I play I love it once it. more. <laughs> nice. Have you done too much? Or um, do you make, do you make it yourself? I so, was but, just going to say, what kind of language is this? <laughs> sorry, <laughs> sorry. No, so, yeah. I mean we can we can switch any any time you want. English. Um, <laughs> we can speak English. That's um, from two. Um, her name is actually two with T H U, and she is a piano student from Regensburg, wow. and she's a big fan of us. And um, I just asked her, do you want to um, make a jingle for us? And she said, yeah, why not? And I said, but make it funny and yeah, typically yeah. German and like, uff da da, uff da da. <laughs> <laughs> it's nice. Yeah, it's, it's quite nice funny. And happy, yeah. I like it. <laughs> and I think she did it all by herself. So it's kazoo and piano and it, she played it simultaneously. Perfect. Simultane That's simultane like sleep. Denglish in instruments, kazoo and piano. <laughs> <laughs> the best of both worlds. <laughs> you are... Uh, let's say German TikTok sensation <laughs> how how did this happen why are you what's here? up with that yeah. what's up with you <laughs> what's was, your deal yeah it was very random like I didn't never I never planned to make these videos I was because I was playing basketball in Germany that's why I moved here ah and, and which team uh, so my first team was in Munich and then I played for a team called Kralsheim their first Bundesliga yeah so you played for Bayern Munich no Sadly for, not. For, for which team in Munich? Uh, it's called Schwabing. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yep. Of, of course, Schwabing. Yep. It's, uh, is it uh, a suburb of, of, Munich, of Munich or is it uh, an, uh, like an extra town? A part of Munich, I would say. Yeah. Right? So congratulations on your basketball success. But how <laughs> does a, 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 a very good basketball player become a humorist? How does that happen? It was like, I was kind of looking for a way out of basketball. And my wife suggested that I should start making videos because I wanted to do fitness videos. They didn't work. I was getting like 10, 20 views. And I was like, okay, I need to find something unique. And I was like, I've never seen like a British, you know, German, you know, documentary thing on social media. So I just started posting videos. The first video got like 100,000 views. And I was just like, wow, okay. It was like an adrenaline mm -hmm. rush or addiction. I was just like, I need to keep... I need Keep going. More. Yeah, yeah, literally. <laughs> yeah. You went right from looking at a lemon to eating a center shark. Yes. <laughs> so what was that first video about? Uh, it was it was how I'm nervous speaking on the phone in German. Mm -hmm. It was kind of a trend where people were like shaking like a glass of water and it was spilling. So I was I had just finished a call like ordering food in German. I put down the phone and then I pick up the glass and it was like shaking, spilling everywhere. And that was, yeah. And everybody was like, can relate. Oh, exactly. 10 out of 10. Just relatable. Yeah. yeah. Oh, wow. So it's a quite a thin line between making fun of a culture and like stereotypically uh, showing what's up in that culture. How do you ride that line? And have you ever crossed it accidentally? I think in the beginning, I definitely did push the boundaries. Uh, I did a lot of like just trial and error, I think was the beginning. But I think the main thing, there was never the intent to be very offensive. So I don't think it ever came across. I think it always, you, people always saw like the light heartedness, even though I'm playing with like the stereotypes. I think people always saw that there was actually no bad intention behind it. So I think that's how I always balance the tightrope, as and I say. And I yeah. think Germans like the idea of being international. Yeah. That's also... <laughs> that's, and yeah. a bit, they are a bit more open, especially to 
English speaking content than they used to be five or 10 years ago. I realized that when I watched um, television a few weeks ago, that sometimes English interviews are not translated anymore. Oh, right. And sometimes they also show completely, do you know that, Hazel? Completely no. English uh, shows in, uh, in RTL. Well, they we show, have to. Yeah, I need to see these. Well, yeah, <laughs> we, have to, uh, we have to get television I, again. I saw yeah. something like uh, American Idol on RTL just wow, wow. and I, uh, cool. I, I I never I've never seen that before and I think yeah because of Netflix Disney Plus yeah, and yeah. so on uh, it's it's got it's gotten more international and I mean there are some English speaking creators living in Germany right now yes. for example the uh, Vietnamese comedian mm -hmm. yeah, from Berlin Ian or Ewan, yeah. yeah yeah I don't know exactly how to pronounce <laughs> it but yeah she blew up uh, two yeah. years ago one year ago yeah crazy and um, so yeah Probably German, Germany is not as bad as we thought. <laughs> Finally, the lack of German talent has forced German TV to show American shows. And I mean, they're quite good at basketball recent, recently. Yeah. They're, they're better. I mean, that you have a German team where almost everyone is playing in the NBA. Yes, it's uh, half it's, the team. Yeah, yeah it's, it's quite unique. I, I remember when there was only Detlef Schrempf. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, how old are you? I've never heard of Detlef Schrempf. <laughs> and, uh, he was the one German NBA player before Dirk Nowitzki in Crazy. the 90s, when Karl Malone and Michael Jordan yeah, yeah. and all of those were. Wow. So what made you come over to Germany for basketball? Um, it was kind of my only option to play professionally, semi-professionally, because my dream was to be go to America. That's like every basketball player's dream. But it didn't happen. So Germany was like so. my next best. Germany it is. I wanted to ride a unicorn. Now I own a crippled poodle. It's like uh, in Book of Mormon when they were sent to Uganda and they want to go <laughs> to, to Florida. Or something. But yeah, like, uh, yeah, I had my first chance in Munich. Mm -hmm. I still wanted to go to America after Munich, but it didn't happen. And then I just ended up staying. I met my wife in second year. So she was the main reason I stayed as well. Yeah, She trapped you here. <laughs> well, thank God for her. Because without her, we wouldn't have your content on the internet right now. I guess. Yeah. I think what people notice when they watch your videos is that you always end up being the butt of the joke. Because yeah. it's always like, oh, I'm in Germany and I'm so overwhelmed and I'm trying to really fit in. Yep. Is there anything you want to joke about, but you feel like you can't do it? Just yet? Um, I like how it is at the moment because, uh, you know, I have the stereotypes there. But also, as you said, I'm making a lot of fun of myself. And I think this is a good balance. So I don't know if I'd want to change that or push it too far. I don't want to get too greedy, I think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but I like how precise your videos are. This one where you are sitting at the breakfast table and there is a Big breakfast setup. Oh, yeah, yeah. I went all in. <laughs> I was in this situation, I think, 50 times in my life where <laughs> I'm at a remote breakfast table from some parents, from some person I know, barely know yeah. after drinking with them and then waking up at, at uh, his or her place. And then there's like this big breakfast and it's just, you want this or that? <laughs> this or that? <laughs> and you're just like, oh, I just want water, actually. <laughs> and maybe, maybe a, a pill or something. <laughs> Some aspirin. <laughs> Some aspirin. Yeah, it's so it's so so cool. It's, it's really good. Have you ever thought of going on stage with your stuff or touring? I the last couple of months I've started thinking about it. It's just it's never really been part of my personality. Like I've always been like this introverted person, like very shy. So I'm still trying to get used to the whole, you know, the whole thing with all the kind of a lot of attention and stuff. So maybe maybe slowly I'll start trying things out. Because this year I've started doing like a bit more events, like being on the stage in general, not stand-up comedy, just other just things. Standing there when yeah, just nobody's standing there, watching. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm just <laughs> sit down tragedy. I think, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think people laugh now just because like how awkward I am. Like I don't know. No, not you're not that awkward. You're, for, I mean, for, I know much worse. <laughs> for German, you're quite outgoing, actually. <laughs> you're a firecracker. <laughs> you're a firecracker. Why do you look so German? You think so? Yeah, yes, yeah I, I think so. I don't know. Yeah, really, I have no uh, German heritage or anything. So you have strong bone, bone, bony features, <laughs> the jawline. <laughs> yeah, jawline. Yeah, that's that's the right. I word. don't know. Yeah, I'm. 
blessed with the German, <laughs> <laughs> with Germanness. The, the Prussian that's, seed that that's sprouts what we wanted within. To hear. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, you moved to Germany, and obviously you got to know the German culture much better, and all these very specific details that you now make fun of. Uh, but what was a stereotype that you always had known about when you were still living in the UK? I think you know. Just people being more direct and, you know, very upfront. That's, I think, a lot of people said that to me before. But I didn't really have any predetermined image before I moved. So that was like the only thing I knew that you should probably toughen up a bit. <laughs> <laughs> But Germany has a quite good reputation in UK, doesn't it? I yeah. was in Wales recently and in Manchester and everyone was just praising Germany and was saying, ah, oh, Jürgen Klopp is my man, oh, yeah. blah, blah, blah. Sure. I just love the amount of teeth he has. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so overwhelming. If, if you're doing well in like football, you're, yeah, you're like a god to them. <laughs> yeah. It's always funny how um, people from UK don't want to be compared to Americans, but want to com be compared to Germans. Yeah. Germans are like their gold, and they can drink a lot, and they're efficient and everything. True, we have that in common, yeah. <laughs> but they kind of hate Americans. I always I always thought I was American, and then I started talking about, ah, German, come in. Oh, <laughs> God. Let's talk about mustard, not ketchup. <laughs> Is there any other parallels between the British and the German culture? Um, Except for drinking? I don't know. I think uh, that's a good question, actually. I've never been asked that. Do you want a beer, actually? We, we, have, a, we have a holiday today. Oh, so my God. Okay. No, no. no. <laughs> it's also the most random holiday today. It's yeah. called Allerheiligen, yep. which is all saints. And I asked Thomas this morning, because I grew up in Switzerland, so I don't know about all these German shenanigans. And I asked him, what, what is all saints and he said oh it's like etc it's like everybody <laughs> it's just, <laughs> just they for all the saints you know <laughs> all the saints it's when you have a big speech when you get an oscar or something and then you just say and i want to thank everyone i forgot <laughs> at the end yeah it's just a whole i i suppose i mean i don't know yeah but we're, I was, we're not directly connected to the pope so we don't know I was okay. quite surprised that a few of my friends thought that Halloween was a German holiday. Yeah. I said, no, that's that's not it's a not German. It, yeah. Is it uh, big in UK? I would say it's definitely bigger than here, but not as big as in the US because people go crazy there. <laughs> Isn't it from Ireland um, originally? Uh, oh, I don't know, actually. Yeah, Could I, be. Thought, I thought it was some, some Nordish folk thing i don't know i don't know I, i i don't think there's enough drinking for it to be <laughs> irish <laughs> that's st patrick's day maybe yeah. <laughs> that's right do germans drink more or uh, Ooh, brits that's a tough because i feel like british people just like to go all out you know it's either i have nothing Or I have to get completely wasted. Yeah, and they get crazy, yeah. don't they? They put like firecrackers up their ass yeah. and stuff like that. I saw uh, British hooligans <laughs> celebrating um, at the Euro um, AM. What's it? AM in, in English? Uh, I don't European know. European Championship? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And they were going crazy oh. because England was in the final and everything. <laughs> yeah, like it's the bad, that's the bad like stereotype for English people, probably like the holidays, Ibiza, you know, being in Spain and just completely off your head. Like, But I feel like here in Germany, people can control themselves a bit better. You yeah, know? I think they're just low-key alcoholics. Exactly. Yeah. 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 They're yeah. just more used to drinking. <laughs> yeah. you know? can handle it, yeah. <laughs> What's your favorite um, Bavarian beer? Oh, Bavarian. I don't know, but my favorite beer is uh, Bayreuther Hell. Ah, okay. Yeah. Ah, Bayreuth. But, but that's yeah. Bavarian. I mean, Bayreuth is Bavarian. Yeah, okay. Then that's that's the one. Uh, don't don't you like Tegernsee? I, I love this is Tegernsee. so that's, incredibly that's... German. I love it. This is, it's like me between two Germans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> between two alcoholics. <laughs> Tegernsee is um, actually quite near to Munich and it's a really, really popular beer right now. It's yeah. also, you can get it in, in Berlin, but also in, in the UK or, and, and so on. Oh, I've been there once to the Tegan Z, yeah. so I, I probably have had the beer. Yeah, It's a bit uh, a bit posh. It got a bit posh. Okay. It's for where rich people from Munich. True. I think Uli Hoeneß lives there. Ooh. Yeah. Fancy. <laughs> yeah. He should be on Between Two Germans. Yeah. And then we speak English to him and he's not going to be very thrilled. So you came from the UK straight to Munich, yeah. which is 
almost like the most German part of Germany, I yeah, would say. True. Now you've lived here for how many years? Nine. Wow. Okay. Nine <laughs> years. So you're starting probably to understand how nuanced the Germanness in different areas is. Would you say Berlin and Munich, can they even be called German cities? Because yeah. Berlin is so international. Yeah, Berlin is just a different... Like, so you go there and you don't feel like you're in Germany sometimes, I think. It's just so international. Um, but Munich, you know, I think that is very German <laughs> city to be in. <laughs> What always throws me off is when people cross the street with the red lights in Berlin. I'm like, no, you have to, you have to wait. <laughs> so I go on to do the slow motion, like, no, grab them. <laughs> what, what are um, situations in your daily life where you think, oh, I'm getting German, I'm really German? <sighs> I, like first thing in the morning, like opening the windows, you know, that's ah, one of the social lift and separating the rubbish very accurately. Um, uh, do you sometimes find yourself thinking about what's what kind of rubbish is this? Yeah. Is, like, this a, is a tea beutel, papier mull or Yeah, uh, I'm always asking my wife, like, is this the right bin? Like <laughs> 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 So we sometimes have a debate which bin it actually goes into. <laughs> oh, but it, does she always have the last word? Or can you also decide what's German. No, yeah, sometimes it. I yeah. do. Like, especially things that have, like, different components. Like, if the paper's got, like, a piece of plastic on it, I'm, like, ripping it apart, like, getting the plastic off. Like, Wow. Yeah. <laughs> But what, what kind I, of... I think I saw an, a, a tiny eagle appear in yeah. your eyes. <laughs> yeah. What kind of trash do you have in Munich? Because sometimes in Germany you also have not only plastic, but uh, aluminium. Do you yeah. have that? Yes. Ah, okay. Yeah, you yeah. don't have that in Cologne. We just yeah, you live in Baden-Württemberg now, But right? now I'm yeah. in Baden-Württemberg. Ah, where, where do you live right now? Yeah, so it's near like Schwäbisch Hall. I, I was uh, living in Ulm for 10 oh, yeah. years as that's well. that's an hour from us too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. nice. Yeah. That's a nice place. Ah, cool. <laughs> some, some people would say. It's <laughs> oh, okay. I've been there enough probably. No, no, it's, it's fine. I think just Thomas didn't have a nice teenage Traumatized. time. Traumatized. <laughs> have you been to uh, the Blautopf? No. Uh, uh, do you know what? Uh, do you know the place? I've heard of it. It's like just a lake that's freakishly blue Ooh. and super, super deep. Oh, and there, true. there have, are stories about uh, a secret castle underneath yeah. and stuff like that. So it's a bit like it's Atlantis. German Atlantis. Yeah, yeah, it's German Atlantis. You have to go there. It's really cool. Wow. I think, I yeah. Yeah. The song "I'm Blue" double D double die was written <gasps> about that place. No way. <laughs> no, I don't okay. think so. <laughs> are there any uh, any other countries or cultures you would like to explore in your video? Um, I definitely want to do like the typical Mallorca ah, thing, yes. like mm -hmm. German on holiday. <laughs> I think this is just gold content waiting yeah. to happen. <laughs> <laughs> And free holiday at the same time. Yeah, you can go from inside out now. You can be a, ge a German traveling Thailand, a German traveling Mallorca. Exactly, yeah. yeah. That's cool. Yeah. You can just... This is the plan, I think. I would love next year just to expand, you know, mm -hmm. put the different characters into different settings German yeah. in space yeah it's German space, yeah. <laughs> under the sea German healing cancer yeah. <laughs> the possibilities are endless uh, how good is your German do you, do you take German classes or can you just speak it now or sometimes I can switch it on I have like officially I have B1 oh B1 that's yeah. very That's B1 true. and done, I okay. say. <laughs> Man kann das ja einfach auf Deutsch unterhalten. Yeah. Yeah, it It's, uh, I think C2 is the maximum, yeah. right? Yeah, so you're in the middle. Uh, unofficially, I think I'm at B2. Oh, But wow. But as okay. I say, I, sometimes I have good days and bad days. Yeah. I just need to get like into a rhythm. Yeah. The problem is I speak English at home with my wife. Yeah. She's, yeah, she's very comfortable speaking English. So she's yeah. the one who got you here and who kept you here. And now she's keeping you from learning German. This is yes. perfect. This is the perfect wife. <laughs> yeah, the perfect toxic relationship. <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow, it got really dark. <laughs> she's actually here with you. Uh, she's in a different room now. We, we assume so we can maybe, talk she, about her. maybe she left the studio. No, but she seems very nice. How involved is she in your process? More than she would like, probably. Okay. <laughs> no, uh, I ask for a lot of input just because, you know, she, I haven't, I wasn't born here, you know, I haven't grown up in Germany. So there's a lot of things that I kind of need to understand. And so I ask for a lot of input. So yeah, sometimes I force her to <laughs> help me with the videos. Yeah. And what's your process when you uh, create new content? Ooh. How do you get new ideas? How often do you uh, release stuff? And how long does it take from the idea to the final product? 
Yeah, now it's like quite a long process, like coming up with a script. I usually spend the mornings just writing scripts and then I film afternoon editing because I'm doing everything, like the editing and everything. Like, so you're doing everything by yourself? Yeah. Oh, really? So probably I use a whole day for one video. Okay. Yeah. But that's actually quite efficient. That's we, we pretty know efficient. know people yeah. who almost use one week for one video. That's for a short insane. form. Yeah. Really? For, yeah. yeah. Wow. Helge Mark, we, uh, we had him in the podcast. He's, uh, he, he does. It's very meticulous. It's almost like short fiction videos. Yes. Yep. And he also um, uh, voiceovers everything new and does everything in front of green screen. So yes. he has to pick a lot of stuff. Yeah, true. And with different hairstyles. And, stuff, and that's, I mean, super. It's we like, were, yeah. It's super staged. And we were actually surprised how how much brain power went into. And then there are other people who just have uh, uh, H H HD. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then yeah. just, uh, you know, put on the camera and just... <laughs> it's like throwing a battery into a lake. It might explode or it might, something beautiful might happen. <laughs> But um, one thing I do do is I like to cook a lot of ideas. So yeah. maybe I'll have something, but I'll need like a week or... Or I'll come back to it in like a month, mm -hmm. you know, so I'll let it kind of marinate mm -hmm. the idea. So sometimes sometimes it can be a day, but sometimes it can also take a long time. You yeah. think, let me cook. Yeah, <laughs> let me cook. <laughs> <laughs> Has that been an option for you to now do the same content or similar stuff for Brits? Um, I feel like I will always need the German connection mm -hmm. in my videos from now. But I've always liked to do it the opposite way. So I would have the Germans traveling England or, yeah, the British guy showing, you know, the German characters how, you know, you should kind of get around. Yeah. Yeah. So this, yeah. And, and you have a lot of uh, Wandern and uh, Spazieren gehen content. So Germans always go on walks. <laughs> and Thomas is a great uh, fan of going on walks. <laughs> I think of myself as someone who goes on walks quite often, but I never really do. <laughs> and actually, before watching your content, I never knew it was a German stereotype. I yes. thought it was just normal people going on walks. Especially in Munich. Uh, Wandern mm. is really big. Wandern, mountain bike, going in the mountains. Yeah. Uh, But why do British people not go on walks? I don't know. Like, if you ask someone to go for a, just outside for like 30 minutes to an hour, they'd probably give you a crazy look. Yeah. <laughs> like, <yeah. laughs> like, what for? <laughs> All the people I know, anyway. It's just, if you li probably live in a nicer area, like, I don't know, if you live by the beach or something, I could imagine this, but. Not in the city or somewhere. Some yeah. rainy town yeah. where it smells like haggis in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> so is there any things you would like to have grown up with that people in Germany grow up with, but the Brits don't? Um, that's a good question, actually. Uh, I would just say maybe like the cleanliness is way cleaner here in, It is. than in England, yeah. I would say. So maybe, just in general, yeah, or, just or in general, certain things, yeah, like the streets, just like the habits people have, like with the rubbish, like this would be a nice thing, I think, just for habits people to pick up on. Yeah, I heard David Sedaris, who is originally from the US, but he lives in England now. He spends all of his weekends just picking up garbage really? on the streets, just because he wants to do, just it. because <laughs> he wants to. Yeah, and he was. I don't think he was knighted, but he was like honored or he got a shout out from the queen. I don't think the shout out is the way to go <laughs> <laughs> verbally, <laughs> but she was like, you're lit, David. Peace, brother. You're lit. <laughs> Let's do it. I see you. <laughs> yeet, yeet. <laughs> Are you a fan of the uh, royalty, the British royalty? Not a fan, but I have a lot of respect. Yeah. Just, you know, just being born into that and kind of having to keep up the tradition and Yeah, I have a lot of respect. People probably, there's a lot of hate as well towards them. But, you know, they're born into it, you know, and they just try and keep up tradition. So, it's, yeah, pretty crazy thing, actually. Yeah. And the, the less they say, the better, actually. Yeah. They can only do wrong. Yeah. <laughs> Did you watch uh, The Crown? Yes. They have the, the last season now coming up. It's coming up, yeah. yeah. With all three actresses playing the 
queen. Oh, wow. What? What? So all generations. That yeah. sounds like Liam's TikTok channel. Yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. It's a, it's the like, youngest one is the baby. It's like Spider-Man No Way Home, but yeah. with oh the queen. Oh, my God. That's yeah. cool. With Olivia Coleman. And no I don't Way know, to the, the Throne. Because I think it kind of it, it kind of fell off a little bit. Yeah. I started the fifth season, but I, it, it didn't excite me as much as... The, it's all about uh, Princess Diana, right? That yeah. season, yeah. And uh, I really like Olivia Coleman. Yeah. And... Um, She's hard to to top, yes, probably. I so, agree. yeah. Wow. Um, how big are your ambitions ambitions still as a basketball player? Uh, as a basketball player, active basketball player, gone, like gone completely. Yeah. Oh, so we have the same ambitions. You, you don't even <laughs> yeah. want to be a basketball player as a, in an entertaining entertaining sense because I mean they're they're. There are people like entertaining, let's say, goalies who just do it for show, like show goalies on TikTok and stuff like that. Um, potentially. I mean, you, you could, you could uh, interact with Dennis Schröder on a comedic level, but <laughs> still play basketball with him. You know what I mean? True, yeah. I mean, I'd be up for that for sure. I'm actually going to start doing, um, I'll be on a show called, uh, they're showing NBA on Pro Seven, mm -hmm. uh, Pro Seven Max. And I'll be like one of the experts. Oh, really? So oh, I, cool. I will oh, cool. be so that's, back into well, that's very basketball. involved. Yeah, yeah. Wow. So this is how this is my ambitions now, just to kind of yeah talk about it and yeah. shout out to the marketing team of Prosim who yeah. like, had the idea. Prosim are actually the um, advertising partners of this podcast. Oh, yeah. Oh, hello. So they're, they're quite hello. Smart. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hello. Um, and what what are your plans for your entertainment career for the next, say, six months? Six months. Um, I definitely want to start making longer videos. So for YouTube, like longer sketches uh, with widescreen. Yeah. Just uh, so you can hold the baby horizontally, yes. finally. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, I don't know. I just I want to show that there is depth, more depth to the characters, the content. Mm -hmm. So hopefully one day someone might be like, "Oh, we can make a show out of this," or like a sitcom or something. Because mm -hmm. that is my end goal to oh, really? have a TV show. How cool! Yeah, like yeah, called in Germany, we don't say or something, you know, and just. Uh, Yeah, My I mean, worst you... day, like W U R S T. And <laughs> 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 uh, you could you could also make uh, tutorials maybe in long form, you know? Yeah. Ten things you can't say at a Oktoberfest yeah, or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> at a Lederhosen factory. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this when you come to Germany. Yeah. <laughs> so you have a lot of followers now and a lot of attention. Do you sometimes feel the pressure in a negative way? Um, I only only because I put the pressure on myself. I think you know. I feel like I have to post this amount in the week, or otherwise I'm not doing my job. You know. Sometimes I just put negative thoughts into my head, but I never I never really feel that from outside. It's always very positive, actually. Okay, very me, good. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm very happy to hear that. <laughs> you did a, a partnership with Bautzner Senf. Oh yeah. Uh, with a mustard company from Germany. Is there any other German product? Because we have a lot of listeners, obviously, in the marketing uh, department. Is there a, a product you want to... We have a lot, of, to... a lot of geniuses listen to the oh, podcast. Only geniuses. Only, yeah. only geniuses. It's very difficult to find this podcast. Geniuses you have and, to solve and riddles. <laughs> geniuses and haters. Yes, it's oh, so, the only uh, two people I geniuses and geniuses yeah. listen to it. <laughs> <laughs> But is there a product you would love to be associated with? Maybe... A, A different mustard. I mean, there are all kinds of mustards in Germany. <coughs> yeah, I mean, <laughs> you can't just specialize in one. There's also Handelmeier and Löwenzahn. True, that is true. I don't know. I feel like uh, like a Wurst or a sausage would be a good one. Like mm -hmm. uh, a beer, but I think that's a bit tricky. Also, with social media advertising beer, I don't know. Yeah, if I it mean, works. beer beer companies in Germany. It's um, when you openly advocate one one beer yeah. I mean, it's, it's uh, it could get really but tense but what would be your mr beast feastables bar what would it be called no what would it be it, it wouldn't be chocolate i would assume no um yeah maybe like uh sauerkraut, <laughs> oh, sauerkraut. <laughs> <laughs> no i always That's i perfect. want something with that begins with a c because uh then i would call it like carps is Ah yes, like not croissants, but but uh, something beginning with, with a C. C I don't know. 
I don't think C is a good letter for German. Yeah, the German I was trying language. to think of that the other day, actually. Hmm. Yeah. Um, clowns, Nase. That's very <laughs> non-German. <laughs> yeah, what's, what's, ah, that's a good one. I will think about that. Or just something for cars, an accessory. Please just Carpenter's continue car. talking while I think. Yes, okay, we will, <laughs> we will distract the audience from the lack of Thomas in the rest of this episode. Is there uh, any dreams you have in your private life? that you want to talk about? Can I make anything possible? Do you want... We ha we're having a second baby. Do you want to have that? Because <laughs> we're <not> quite... <laughs> we're, we don't have any energy left for two. <laughs> no, we are definitely taking our time with that. Okay. Yeah, so... Because um, it would be ready. It, it just... <laughs> you could do um, Carp's camping gear. Oh. That's good. Because That's camping good, is, some, is, a, is a German thing. Yeah. No, not only hiking, but also canoeing yeah. and uh, climbing. What so this whole outdoor thing is quite huge true. in Germany. But what about uh, Krapfen? Krap Krapfen? Nah, Krapfen Ooh, is not this, this, this I know, but it, but, would it sounds, be, yeah. but it would be like Krabs, Krabs. Krab yeah. In a, in a, it, it would... Just mm -hmm. continue confusing me because I keep confusing Karpfen and Karpfen. Or you could say, just call it uh, Carpe Diem. Oh. Or That's... Carpe Liem. Oh, oh my God. Have you Damn. ever heard that one? I've never heard Carpe that. Carpe Liem, it's, it's genius. It's like that, that skull on your bathing <laughs> shorts. It, it, this happens you... when you just let me think for one minute, Hazel. <sighs> so it comes a hold. Yes. <laughs> 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 That's oh all God. we wanted to accomplish with this episode. <laughs> well, thank you, Liam. It was such a pleasure to have you here. Thank um, you. I hope that you can enjoy Cologne a little bit today. Carpe Colonia. Maybe, I don't know, with us or without us or with our daughter. If you Just want to enjoy please it. Please take our daughter. <laughs> <laughs> wow. That's actually the only reason why we're here. <laughs> No, we're, we're very happy, but it's just a lot right now. Maybe in uh, you could say in, in German uh, for uh, at the ending something like uh, bewertet Hazel Thomas her Erlebnis mit fünf Sternen or something like that in a German character. Okay, in English, but a German to... accent. Yeah, maybe? please. I would rate this podcast hmm, fünf Sterne. <laughs> Very good. I love how stone faced you became. Thank you so much, Liam. I hope our paths will cross again. If you ever want to be live on stage, I have a platform you can open for me. Wow. Or you can close for me. If people, uh, if people don't leave early <laughs> enough. Yeah, you can show them the, the exit uh, doors. Um, I, I also have a uh, uh, finishing jingle. Do you want to hear it? it? I've or, never or, heard it. No. Yeah, yeah it's, please. It's, it's just or is a, there anything you want to say? Is there anything you want to ask? Or No, I just, yeah, very grateful that you invited me. Uh, yeah. Obviously, I watched you on low a lot. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. Did you laugh respect. or did you win? I did. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, thanks. Happy really to appreciate hear that. It. Yeah. As, as I always say, carpe liam. That's, uh, that is crazy. This is mind-blowing. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.